online programs for building family trees like Ancestry.com or Find My Past are really, really good for researching and putting things together. But one thing they all seem to lack is a way of reporting or analysing. If I go to my database of King Charles, for instance, and I look at the family, there's no way I can report or look for problems here, even if I go to King Charles himself. Now, there are ways of using laptop or PC-based systems like Roots Magic to actually copy the database and maybe sync up to Ancestry, but they cause there a lot of problems in their own mind. So how do we report on our Ancestry database or our Find My Past database, or in fact, any database, in a very easy and simple manner? Well, the easiest way is to download a JEDCOM, and a JEDCOM file is a file that pretty much every online or PC-based Ancestry system will use. And it's a way of copying your system and database into a flat file. And we can do this in many ways. And most systems are very similar. So here we are at Ancestry. And this is here, it just says manage your tree. And we can export the tree here. And it exports it into a JEDCOM file. It doesn't take very long. I can then download it to my uh, PC or laptop. And once it's downloaded, it's a snapshot of the file as, as it stands today. So what can I do with that file? I can certainly read it myself with a program like Notepad. And that will show, as I can see here, just a lot of text. But there are a bunch of programs around and we can Google them. That's called GEDCOM Analyzers. And I want to look at one of those today. And the one I, the one I want to look at today is called Family Tree Analyzer. So let's go ahead and find Family Tree Analyzer. So I've moved over to the Microsoft Store on my laptop, and I can download FT Analyzer on here. So if you wish to use FT Analyzer, which is a really, really good tool, just go over to the Microsoft Store. But as I said earlier, you can Google, there are a number of JCOM Analyzer tools. And one thing with these tools, they seem to either run on a Mac or on Windows. I have not seen many that run on both. So you can look for one that is best for you. There are some like JedWiz that charges a nominal license fee. But again, most of these are either free or a free 30 day analytics. So we download this tool. I've already downloaded it. And then I can open it and start using it against my dead car. So here we are at the home screen of Family Tree Analyzer, very, very simple. And again, most JEDCOM tools look very similar to this. As you remember earlier, we downloaded a JEDCOM file. So it's as simple as uploading a JEDCOM file to Family Tree Analyzer. And I've already downloaded the file, so I can just upload the file that I downloaded. This is one of my Family Tree, so we can analyze the data within my Family Tree. And now this is a complete snapshot from Ancestry. I've skipped forward here. It takes about 15, 20 seconds for the database to load the first time. We can see it's fully loaded by these green stripes. And this is the first panel here in FT Analyzer. And it's already telling me some key information about my database. Here at the first, there's some error dates. Um, and I can quickly go in and change these. Again, this is just a snapshot of my database. I can't change anything in Ancestry from here, but I can actually see where my errors are. So I, I typed unknown after 1883 in the date file for William Anderson here. So now I just need to go into my Ancestry system and correct that error. Within this main panel here, it tells me I am the root person. And this is very important. If you start to use Family Tree Analyzer, many of the reports are only keyed on the root person. So it's important you have the right root person. And if it's not correct, uh, you just go to help and it'll tell you how to change the root person. Gives me some key facts about my Ancestry database, which is very useful. And then some more information about key custom facts. Now, as we all know within Ancestry, we can create custom facts. Within the JEDCOM analytics, they're not known within the different tools. So it's telling me the different types of custom facts I have. More about that later on. Now, within this video, I'm just going to scoot across the top of Family Tree Analyzer just to give you an idea of how powerful it is. If you'd like me to do more detailed how-to 
uh, please let me know in the comments or send me a message. But anyway, this is loaded. I've seen a main panel. I see some key errors. And then across the top, most JEDCOM analyzer tools look very similar to this. There's different reports I can run. I can export different things to Excel. There are various tools. This one keys on maps pretty well, and I can connect the locations in Ancestry to geocoders, and I've done that. I'll show you how that works really quickly, and then there's a help tool. This is a totally free tool, so the help is not that great. Uh, a lot of it is found out for yourself, but very, very great tool. And here are the tabs, the main lists, all the individuals, and I can sort, select here. It's very much like a spreadsheet, but it's not a spreadsheet. I can select, sort in different ways. I can double click on a surname or a name here and see the different facts connected to that person. I can do very similar within families. I can do very similar within sources. So if I was interested in, or oh, let's say, who was using 1871 as a source, here's the people I've connected to that source. Occupation, custom facts, very key here. I've used a custom fact where it's difficult on hand for various people, and I can double click on that and see who I've connected that custom fact to. This is very powerful here. These are the errors of fixes, birth after baptism, birth after death. And again, I can't change anything here, but it tells me all the things that's wrong with this particular database. And it's an early database that I created and not kept up to date. So we can see there's a lot of facts. I can go within now within Ancestry. I can download this list and I can start using Ancestry to correct the facts. And it breaks them down again into loose deaths and loose births. What it's looking at here is if I've got a birthday and maybe some information on that person, like when their children were born, I may be able to predict when that person died. So here for Richard Ackrig, his birthday is about 1823, but the systems said, hey, sometime between 1862 and 1933 is probably when he died. So this is a really powerful tool for me to go in and start looking at possible areas of research. I've got more information on the surname, so I can do a surname count here. I'll just take a little time to do the Alex, and then I can just connect. Let's look at one that's got a few more. And double click on that and see all the people with that surname and do more information again here's my spreadsheet i can download to locations very powerful i've connected my ancestry locations using the getcom location the google and ordnance survey so all these ones with check marks are good locations and i won't go into any more detail here but again very very powerful I can now see which addresses um, within Ancestry are not known. So I can, again, I can go back into Ancestry, um, can I click those. I've got facts. I can click on a fact, as we saw this, uh, who's has that particular fact. And that's not just my custom facts, it's any fact, right? So if I can do a lot of analytics here, I can look at censuses. I can show hugely powerful. I love this tool. I love this tool. I can go to a, a census, let's say 1851. And now within my family tree, the system, the JEDCOM analyzer, will analyze who should be on that census. And I can say who's not on, the, who I've not said on this census should be on the census. And look, I've got some blood relatives. These are the ones in bold. Uh, so Matilda. Maria Watts would have been between six and seven on the 1851 census, but I don't sure has been on the census. So again, area that I can do the research on. And if we want me to go into more details, I will. Lost Cousins is a website. It uses the census information that people have or share between families to connect genealogists. I'm not going to go into detail here. It's a great site. You can visit the website from here. I'm not going to go down, do that. Again, there's research selection. So I can actually go to, I don't know, let's go to 
uh, family here, and I can look at a UK census report. And what this report tells me, the green and yellow are saying that this person, Agnes Bousfield, is in those census in my ancestry database. The reds are showing me where somebody doesn't exist. So again, analytics, this is far beyond you could even dream of in ancestry. And treetops, a little bit of a different way of looking at your family tree. It looks at the end of lines here. So again, if I do another video, I can look at the different ways you can use this in your research. A powerful tool that I use a lot here when I'm researching different names, I can see which people will be alive during, let's say, World War One. that I can go and look at seeing whether I've got military information on. So that's a really, really quick look at FT Analyzer, and it will really bring a lot of information to your Ancestry database. You'll be amazed what to do with it. I've got nothing to do with FT Analyzer, and there are equally good other JEDCOM analyzer tools around. So again, if you'd like me to do more a de more detailed video with how you would actually use these tabs, please let me know. In the meantime, it would be great if you'd like this, this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll be able to make more videos. In the meantime, have a great day. Thank you.